the black uh, market wildlife trade is kind of divided up in two areas. One is um, subsistence meat. It's people that are killing animals because they're just hungry and they need food. Then there's prestige bush meat. So I want this, like uh, Mugabe, who used to be the president um, of, uh, of a country in Africa, um, on his 90th birthday, he was served baby roasted elephant. I mean, that would be an example of prestige bush meat. Um, then there is black market trade for like um, medicinal trade. So people who believe that, you know, a rhino's horn could help with impotency or tiger bone is good for youth and health, you know, eating animal parts because you impart that animal quality. It is a billion dollar, it's a 20 to actually right now, I think it's about a $40 billion a year industry. It's huge and it's driving species to extinction. In Florida, I would say there's less of an issue of the black market wildlife trade. Although in North America, we have had species stolen, some of our amphibians and snakes, bears that have ended up in Asia in the black market. The biggest issues right now with Florida when it comes to wildlife and habitat is you're running out of habitat. And a lot of the habitat is now getting compromised. I think in its height, 4,000 people moved to Florida um, every month um, to make human habitat, we take away wild habitat. I think the best thing to do in Florida is to protect habitat and restore habitat and make sure you protect species. Uh, you, you, know, you can actually, as you guys know, you can see gopher tortoises in the wild in Florida, but they're only in those protected areas. And, you, you know, we can protect animals, make sure that they're out of harm's way. We can have good laws. But if you don't have good habitat, you can't have a place for wildlife to survive. So to me, that's, and, you know, the impact on climate change. And then Florida has issues with runoff, with um, pollutants and, you know, the ag agriculture, not ag agriculture, but, um, um, you know, fertilizers for all. Everyone wants a beautiful green lawn that goes right into the water systems. And we know that has a powerful and devastating impact on wildlife.